Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> so we had to take a little a bit of a break because I had to uh, jump on a tennis court and hit some balls. <laughs> um, but we back. But we're back. We back. And um, and we're gonna do whoa, Marcelito for Moy. <laughs> yeah, we're in it for one hell of a treat. Wow, so that's this, the title. This is quite a, an interesting one because it was recommended by a lot of you guys to sort of get an understanding of who he is and how he sort of, uh, you know, some of his biggest performances, most iconic performances. And one of them was him in America, America's Got Talent uh, singing the, the prayer. The champions singing the prayer. But we already seen that. We already seen that song. Ah. Maybe this is a different version. Just do one of this. <laughs> You looked at me like, uh... Because you've seen it. No, we've seen that song done before. By him? Yeah, in the bus. Yeah, then we'll watch it again. <laughs> I don't know. All right, so we changed the video. We're not going to watch the... Whoa, Marcelito Pomoy. <laughs> We're going to watch... Because we realized we had watched that one, and they, you know, because we watched him sing the prayer. But this was then the second most requested one, which was him, uh, Beauty and the Beast, singing bo both voices. Yeah. Because, of course, that's, that's what he does. Mm -hmm. That's his charm. It's very shocking that that's even possible. Yep. A viable, a viable way of singing. Like I, at all. I didn't even know that was humanly possible up yeah. until I saw him. So it's freaking insane. And this is him in America's mm. Got Talent, as be before the one we had planned before. But th this one obviously is a different song, so it should be more sort of a fun. Yeah. Different. Different. I I I know what to expect, but I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, like, I know he's got to do two voices, but yeah, I but like I don't think I'll, I'll ever know. What is the Beauty and the Beast song? Tell us all the time. I never watched that movie ever. I haven't even watched the one with Hermione in it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely Jennifer not Aniston. Even is that it? What? No. Yeah, Hermione Granger. <laughs> I don't Emma, know. Emma Watson. Emma Watson. That's it. I always get it confused with Heather Watson, who's a tennis player. Oh my God, you can see priorities <laughs> yeah. are so right in your brain right now. Yeah. Let's watch it. Marcelito. Wow, Marcelito Bumoy. <laughs> yes, Marcelito. Hey, yes, Marcelito. Holy uh, guacamole! Look at Simon, he's like, what the f- Look at how is that even possible? He's Celine Dion! <laughs> yeah, literally, bro, he's like, what the f- Oh, he's fantastic! <laughs> That's with the what? My brain melted. Look at her. Brain, Look at her. He just, he just literally makes no sense how he does that. There's very little does that things. Even happen? Does that even happen in the original song? I can't even remember in the Celine Dion version what actually happens. But I've never heard that song. It was the, like, you know how they do one commercial version of the title track for and then, and then, for Disney songs, for Disney movies? Yeah. By, by really big artists? Oh, I think it does. But I don't remember who the male voice was. Andrea Bocelli? Could be, I don't know, mate. You're I don't asked, remember. You're asking the wrong person. Please, kindly, I'm, I'm sure someone will let you know. I was so small. See, there's very little things I can do to sort of get that reaction out of women. <laughs> like, oh, you know? <laughs> but he can. He's, that's sort of his main trick, isn't it? He makes anyone, Whoa. regardless of gender, just... I'm telling you, is that is that that title really comp like compiled him as an experience really really well? Actually, wow! Actually, I, I do have a few uh, tricks up my sleeve. Oh, oh my god! Like magic, a coin up behind your ear. <laughs> He's got per perfect hair. He does. Oh, but his control is insane. Fantastic, <laughs> what? what the hell? It's bizarre. It's such a bizarre experience. How can... 
you taking it? How does he do that? It's fantastic! Go people go wild! Nice shot. That's ridiculous. That is absolutely insanity. Marcelito, let's go, boy! <laughs> How does he flip so quick? Oh. oh, he knows. He knows he murdered. That is brilliant. That is outstanding. Outstanding. Woohoo! Now, my. Freaking insane! Now, my. I'm thinking now, right? Mm -hmm. Two things. Mm hmm. Obviously, it's bloody impressive. Yes, sir. Right, but my question is, how could... What would be the most marketable way that he could sort of, like, have an album? You know what? You see my point? Yes. Like, what... How could you sell Yeah, it? what would he sing? It, and, and maybe he has sorted this question out, you know, where he, he has an anything. album. And everything. But, like... How do you sell it? How though? do you sell that yeah, as yeah, an yeah. actual artist? That's that's a very good question. Talent is not because that's like, that's sick. That's beyond that. I, I just keep using some word ridiculous, but I mean it in the best way possible. Yeah. Like it's so such a bizarre experience. And people would throw money for experiencing. Yeah, I think he would be one you of put those theatrics involved. A bit yeah, of stuff. I was gonna people... see. I think Cash. I don't think he fits the whole theatrical idea though. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying... But, like, plays that man... I'm saying play antics. Yeah, so, for example, change, sudden changes of, of, of uh, uh, outfits, fire, uh, uh, all this stuff. Okay, you see what I mean? Okay, fair enough. I, but I think he would be so fantastic in a setting with a live orchestra behind him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know? You, uh, like I a mean, dramatic... He would, be, he would be, like, how you sell... I, th I would approach it if I was a mar marketing him part of his marketing team I will probably approach it as a how I how I approach classical singers how I approach Andrea Bocelli's tours and stuff I think that because it is an experience that you're selling you're not selling a product per se you're you're selling a whole experience well, you have to buy the ticket to really uh, be taken in this journey you and know then the second question I have to yes. you from a from from such a, a a broad vocal background, how viable is that in the long run? Oh, very much so. Really, it's very, very it's health. There's nothing wrong with it. Very it's freaking healthy technique. However, he discovered that he could do this. Yeah. How, however, way he he um um understood what what muscles required to be moved and when they needed to be done when it needed to be done in the song. It's a very healthy, fantastic, clear way of doing it. What exactly is he doing in technique? <laughs> as it, it is in textbook. I understand that it's just setting the changes of the of the larynx, set, setting larynx. different uh, um, muscles and and different sets of qualities in the vocal folds that play a huge role in it. But the quickness, the how fast he goes from being a, a, a huge tenor to being your top soprano it's absolutely insane I, I i don't i still don't understand how that is physically possible at that speed i mean under I, pressure like, I mean, and, and i have seen it for example you see it i i see it quite often in people like dimash well he can you know? do yeah, yeah he can do that but he takes his time on the shift the shift is gradual gradual um like it eventually gets to the top of his range so he works his way up yeah. or he works his way down so there is a whole adjustment period which is still insane don't get me wrong well, he it got, takes nothing away from well, his range how fantastic is, it is it's nuts yes his marcelito's it's range insane. is absolutely crazy but um he literally covers all parts of a choir 
the all the four four parts that you would essentially would have in a, in in a in a uh, choir. Yeah. He he can do them four. He can do the mezzo. He can do the soprano. He can do the tenor. He can do the bass. All of them. Jeez. And it it is insane. I I you know. One man the, army. He really I is. Really, I, oh, ah, I, I I know how that you would appro approach recording his music. Who? No, how? I, so he would record every voice of a uh, of the songs, everything. Mm, that would be an, a fantastic way of selling that. He did all the backing vocals to everything. Sort of like that. Uh, what was that? That album that Phil Collins released. Oh, that it was all, all him. All instruments, all vocalizations. Was everything all was him. him. And it was a best best-selling album back in the day. Mm. That's how. I, uh, yeah. That's how. The, that's the way I would approach selling him, selling that. That's a good. That's a good idea. I mean, yeah, I'd like to see what he's doing, like sort of now. And again, I want to consume as much content he's got. He's amazing. So, but I, you know, I, I'm also thinking all this stuff while I'm watching him, and I'd love to. You know, I. That's why I add all the comments and stuff like that because it, it sort of feels like I'm having a conversation with you guys too. Definitely. Which I genuinely am. It, the the um, I just. He leaves me speechless. I always find it hard he to, is. to I think just the cover everything about it. Best way to describe him for me is he is a bizarre experience. He is a unicorn. Literally, bro. He, definitely. He is a unicorn. Yeah. And in, in the most Without magical, fantastic way possible, he is somebody to admire, to watch, to study. He's, He's somebody. He's somebody that you want to take your time to now, appreciate his performances. Now. Also, it's it's like a, it feels sometimes that you're you're sort of a, like you actually want to. I'm telling you, like you actually want to open him up and see what the hell is going on inside that guy. No, I don't. I don't. I've I've also come to the conclusion in my many. Come on, my, let me see your throat, little, bro. No, in my in my little years of experience. <laughs> Our senses are said very often. In my years, little years of experience, I I've discovered that sometimes dissecting too much takes away the magic and 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 the 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 fantastic. Yeah, but science—that's nuts. I I wouldn't want to. I'd love to uh, see uh, someone no, study him. No, not open him up, mate. No, no, no. But I mean, like, don't don't take away Why? that that magic ah, element do it. to them. I'm all for it. Do it. Put put him like. Here is our. <laughs> here is what it's like to be living with the both yeah, of us. Yeah, let's see. Let's see what he's. Uh, you know. Don't. Vo two maxes. <laughs> let's see what his vocal range is. No. Put him, put him through some tests. Make him go through a you ninja. You freaking weirdo. Put him through like ninja warriors. You know, sort of like obstacle courses. <sighs> see if his fitness is also a joke. What a weirdo. Make him do it. Make you know, ten k run while singing. See, you know, find out. Why well, you? I mean, he he's basically. Super One human. in a in a billion. <laughs> He's superhuman. Yeah, you might as well just you know study him a little bit. Mm -mm. Give him to NASA. <laughs> Make him contact aliens. No, <laughs> why are you giving the internet this information? <laughs> Keep it to yourself. I love him. I'm a huge fan. I'm only taking. He's it. I'm fantastic. Only yeah. Um, he really yeah. Is. Let us know what else you like us to watch, and uh, I'm all for it. It's whoa, Marcelito Pomoy. <laughs> Sup, people. If you're a dancer. <laughs> Sup people, if you're watching this and you're a rapper or a beat producer, a singer, a ghostwriter, or even just somebody who likes new music, then this is for you. Feature Friday is the show where we make new music every week featuring your tracks, your raps, your lyrics, or yourself as an artist. There's no catch. This isn't one of those weird posts where you click on the website and you're trying to order airports and they say it's free and then you have to pay like a hundred thousand million dollars for uh, shipping. Uh, this is completely free. We understand how difficult it is in the music industry to get seen and there's so many amazing rappers and singers and beat producers out there. So this is just a place to showcase your skills. We showcase our skills, we make music every week, which we love doing anyways. We get to show new artists to new people and new people to new artists. So if you'd like to get featured next, message me here on Instagram or email me and we will get in touch pretty soon. Please do it fast because uh, a waiting list is forming and we don't want anyone waiting around. Keep scrolling by. See you Friday. Peace. Bye-bye.